Hey there, welcome to the afford session. In the previous sessions, we have learned what is a GraphQL and how it was different from the average. In this session, we will learn how to use the busy GraphQL queries. For this, we will use the GitHub API. Here, I have opened the GitHub API Explorer. Link for this is available in the resources. For accessing this GraphQL playground, we need to log in. Click on sign in with GitHub button. I have already logged in. So it asked me for the permission for API Explorer. Authorize it. Here you can see that I have logged in. This is the GraphQL playground. Using this, we can test the uh, GraphQL APIs. In the RESTful API, we are using the Postman. For GraphQL API, we need to use the uh, GraphQL, Apollo Client, etc. In this box, we must need to enter the uh, GraphQL query that we want to send. Here, you can pass the uh, query variable, just like the uh, body part in the uh, REST request. By clicking this button, we can execute this query. Using the Prettyfy button, we can format the query with the proper formatting. Using this history button, we can see the previous executed query. Using docs, we can see the possible queries, mutation, its argument, and the types that are written by it. Just like the swagger in the RESTful API. Let's start with the most basic query. GraphQL query syntax is just like the JSON. But it was not exactly same. Open curly braces. Within that, we need to enter the query name that we are going to execute. Here, I am going to obtain the logged in user detail. For this, we need to use the query name viewer. Within that, specify the list of fields that you want to obtain. Here, you can see that autocomplete comes. Let's obtain the ID, name, login name, that is the username, and the URL. Click on the execute button. Here we got the result. It includes only field that we have specified here. We can also specify an optional name to the query. For this, we need to use the query keyword and the name of the query. If we click on the execute, we got the same result. Here we have just written the only single query. We can also write the multiple queries too. Let me open the uh, GitHub profile. We have just obtained the uh, name. Now we are going to obtain the uh, location bio as well as the status. For this, I am going to copy this query and update the uh, name, get details with the uh, status. Now we just need to add the uh, location, bio, status field. Status consists of the uh, two part. It includes the emojis as well as the uh, text. Here we are obtaining the uh, status detail in the uh, same request. We does not need to create an additional query for obtaining the uh, status. So we are going to obtain the uh, both. Hit the execute button. Now we have multiple queries. So it shows the option for select the uh, query which we have to execute. Select the uh, get details with the uh, status. Here we got the data for new field as per the our expectations. Let's see what we have learned in this session. In this session, we have used the uh, GitHub API Explorer to access the uh, GraphQL playground, as well as the uh, create the uh, basic query to obtain the uh, viewer data. Along with this, we have seen how to assign the uh, name to the uh, query as well as use the uh, nested fields. Stay tuned for the next session.